<laughs> sure. Good job, Charlie. Way to represent. Oh my gosh, yes, you found us. This is Soren and Scratching. I am Evil Chicken, and lo and behold, my partner, I am the Eagle Fan. Thank you for joining us. If you've been here before, welcome back. If it's your first time, welcome. I have a pitch meeting for him to watch tonight. This is, and Ryan George is awesome at these videos absolutely i love this guy i love this guy go Very to funny. his channels watch his stuff they're great track him down see everything he does very funny dude so this that is being said, what is this willy wonka and the chocolate factory pitch meeting dun, dun, dun. this is from the original so i love that Love that movie. I never really got into it. I've no. seen it, but it never really rang with me. I got you. I got you. I liked it because it was edgy. It was like edgy. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you ready? I am. Let's okay. bring, bring it on. So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's called Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, and it's based on a book called Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, so we're doing like a spin on it, making Willy Wonka the main character? No, the main character is this kid called Charlie. So why are we... I don't know. Well, okay then. So anyway, we meet Charlie, and he's working a job while all these other kids are having a great time in a candy store with the candy man. Oh, they're buying candy from him? No, he's just kind of throwing it at them, just kind of giving it out. Yeah, a pretty weird business model. Yeah, so anyway, Charlie goes home and sees his mom, who's taking care of his four grandparents that have been stuck in their communal bed for like 20 years. What? What are you talking about? You know how when you're a kid, your four <laughs> grandparents live in the same bed and never get out because they're too old? Oh, I don't think that's a thing. That sounds super <laughs> unsanitary. Yeah, all they do is complain and eat cabbage soup all day. Oh god, I can't imagine what those sheets must smell like. Not great, I imagine. So anyway, then we're gonna find out that this guy, <laughs> Willy Wonka, who owns a candy factory, is having this big contest. Oh, what's the contest? Well, he's hidden some golden tickets in some candy bars, and whoever finds them gets a tour of the factory. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, so everybody in the world just starts going crazy, like everybody's looking for these things. And who ends up finding them? Well, there's this girl, Violet, who loves chewing gum. There's a boy named Mike TV who loves TV. There's a boy named Augustus Gloop who likes to eat. And there's a girl named Veruca Salt who's, you know, Satan. Oh, she is. She's a spoiled little <laughs> demon child for sure. And Charlie really wants to find a ticket, but his family doesn't have money, so they can't really buy chocolate. Bummer. And then his mom is gonna sing a song called Cheer Up, Charlie. Oh, we have musical numbers. Sometimes. Well, okay then. People do enjoy the occasional song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not this one, though. Oh. Yeah, pretty much everybody's <laughs> gonna hate this one forever. Okay. Anyway, eventually Charlie <laughs> ends up finding the ticket, and he gets to bring somebody with him. Oh, so who does he bring with him? His hardworking mom? Nope, he's gonna bring his Grandpa Joe. Haven't all his grandparents been bedridden for two decades? They sure have, but Grandpa Joe's gonna be so excited, he's gonna get out of bed and start dancing around. What? Yeah, he's so excited, he can't wait to go. You're saying all it took for him to get out of bed was the opportunity to go eat some free candy? That's right. What about when Charlie was born and the mom had to raise a child by herself? <laughs> nope, he didn't. That wasn't enough for him to get out of bed. What about trying to get a job so they don't have to eat cabbage soup all the time? So he's gonna dance around, he's gonna sing a song about how he has a golden ticket. He doesn't- Charlie has the golden ticket! Well, that's Grandpa <laughs> Joe for you. Oh, Grandpa Joe's a monster. Is he the bad guy or something? No, he's one of the good guys. Ew, if you say so. Anyway, so then- <laughs> Early thoughts? <laughs> He is spot on the money for Grandpa Joe. <laughs> Grandpa Joe's a dick. <laughs> Pretty much. He's a bag of dicks. <laughs> yeah, I think you nailed that one. Now, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just now for, for those who don't know, <laughs> which <laughs> would actually Joe? be all of you out there, I had the conversation with him letting him know we were going to see this video. This is true. And he predicted some of this reaction to to grandpa joe to the point where i'm like did have you seen this <laughs> he's such a good target i knew that they had to, he had to go there because grandpa joe he's a parasite 
<laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Let's just leave your mother there who sings that horrible song. <laughs> sure. Good job, Charlie. Way to represent. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see some more. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> and they head to the Wonka factory. And how does that go? Well, they see Willy Wonka and he pretends to need a cane, but then he does a little roll, so it's very fun. Oh, because people think he can't walk well, but then he can. Exactly. And so this way, the audience never knows if he could be trusted. Oh, so this guy is a little sketchy. Oh, definitely. Not as sketchy as Grandpa Joe, though. So then they start the tour and <laughs> they see all kinds of weird rooms inside this factory. Wow, 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 wow. And there's this massive chocolate river with a waterfall. Sounds delicious. Yeah, it looks like diarrhea though for sure. Oh, no. Then that kid Augustus <laughs> Gloop, he's gonna start drinking out of the chocolate diarrhea river and he's gonna fall right in. Uh-oh, so what does Wonka do? Not much, he just kinda stands there. He says there's nothing to be done about it now. Oh, what does that mean? Well, the kid gets sucked up into this tube and then the pressure shoots him out into a different room. My God, is he okay? Unclear, but then these little creatures called Oompa Loompas start dancing and singing about how this kid had it coming. What? Yeah, they got a whole song and dance ready for this exact situation. Very <laughs> strange. So then everybody gets on this little boat and it's super cute and it has just the right number of seats for them. Does that mean that Wonka knew that one of the kids wasn't going to make it out of that room? That's certainly one way to interpret it, sir. Yeah, <laughs> very dark. Yeah, and then they go through this tunnel on a little boat ride. Oh, well, that's fun. That'll kind of counterbalance the extremely dark thing you just alluded to. And the tunnel is dark and images start getting projected <laughs> on the walls, millipedes crawling on people's faces, chickens being beheaded. What? And Wonka just stares at everybody and he's speaking in an increasingly loud voice. What is going on? He's singing and about how not a speck of light mowing. is showing, so the danger must be growing. Are the fires of hell a-glowing? Is the grizzly reaper mowing? Please stop. And then he ends the song with a big scream, and everyone's sitting there shocked at what they just witnessed. Oh my god. So anyway, then they head into the next room. Well, wait, what the hell was that about? <laughs> I don't know. So then in the next room, they get these... Em <laughs> yep. <laughs> and just the also funny... <laughs> One of the other things he mentioned about this prior to this video. <laughs> <laughs> and the mowers uh, keep on mowing. Like I said, I had not seen this video in so long. Oh, God. Yeah. Or this movie in so long. Movie, I forgot yeah, yeah. about that part until hearing this. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously yeah. I didn't see it when I was a little kid. There's some or I would have had nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> let's get back <laughs> yes everlasting yes. gobstopper things which look very uncomfortable to eat okay and violet eats some gum that she's not supposed to and it makes her turn into a massive blueberry i mean she just fills up with juice she fills up with juice and so the oompa loompas have to roll her into another room and juice her or she's gonna explode she might explode only if the oompa loompas don't juice her and then they do another song and dance specific to this very situation when did they write and rehearse these things and how did they know they were gonna play out like this unclear so then they all get to try out some lickable wallpaper and let me tell you grandpa joe gets pretty nasty with his tongue on that thing oh and then they go into another room and they see the stuff called fizzy lifting drinks but wonka tells them they can't have any because it's not ready okay but then when everybody leaves the room grandpa joe is like hey charlie everybody's gone grandpa no one's watching joe. let's have some oh this freaking guy are you sure he's not the bad guy in this thing he might be so then they start floating up towards this big <laughs> ceiling be. fan and it seems like they're gonna get chopped up by it oh gonna be tough to get out of that situation actually it's gonna be super easy barely an inconvenience oh really yeah see they just start burping a whole lot and that makes them float back down to the ground oh solving problems by burping is tight yeah it is so then what happens well mike tv gets turned all miniature and veruca falls down a garbage chute that leads to a furnace oh this place is a death trap well we're gonna imply that maybe the kids didn't die so oh okay you know they're all definitely on a path to excruciating death but maybe they're not gonna get there <laughs> i guess that's reassuring <laughs> anyway so eventually wonka's gonna be super mad at them about the fizzy lifting drink situation and he tells them to go home. Oh, well, that's probably the safest thing for them anyway. But then Charlie's gonna give back the everlasting gobstopper, so Wonka's gonna be super happy. Oh, why is that? Well, he had set up this whole thing where his employee posed as a competitor and promised all the kids money if they gathered information on that candy as a test. Oh, so Charlie's being honest. Okay, that's nice. It is nice. So then Wonka takes Charlie and Grandpa Joe into a magical elevator that shoots up all the way into the sky. Yeah, that also sounds extremely unsafe. Definitely. And so Wonka's gonna be like, good news, Charlie, 
Charlie. I'm giving you the factory. It's yours. What? Yeah, Charlie's in charge of a factory now, and Grandpa <laughs> Joe's gonna be like, what about me? Can I live there too? Oh, of course he says that. Yeah, okay, he is the worst. <laughs> so, 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 so Charlie's like the CEO of a major corporation now? I guess so, because Wonka said he didn't want to leave the factory to a grown-up, so he had to give it to a child. What happens when Charlie's no longer a child in just a couple years? Unclear, so what do you think? Well, you know, I think it sounds like a pretty good horror movie. Oh no, this is a kid's movie. Oh, it is? Yeah, this is for kids. This is for the little humans. But what about all the horrifying stuff all throughout the movie? I don't know. What about that tunnel scene where he's yelling about hellfire and flashing disturbing images? Oh, well, those images are gonna fly by so fast, I don't think anyone's gonna know what's actually happening. Okay, well, I guess it's good that there's not really any technology for people to watch these movies at home and slow them down and rewatch that scene. Yeah, uh, yeah, hopefully that never exists, or I imagine somebody would make a list of all the disturbing stuff we're gonna shove in there. <laughs> Hello, it's Ryan here. Thanks for watching that video. I love his takes on these things. Oh, he's brilliant. He's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> and apparently you could do these as well. <laughs> I don't know. It's not my, it's not my bag, baby. <laughs> Although I've got another one for you for a later time. The other one we discussed. Yeah. Especially yeah. since you weren't sure on what could be said about that one. Yeah, that one didn't. I mean, this one, it was just obvious. Um, I mean, I can guess for the other one. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, this was, yeah. Uncle Joe, he's a, he's a crumb bum. <laughs> you got uh, you got that uh, the boat ride. Crazy as F. <laughs> you know. And then at the end of it, you know, I mean, of course. Uh, the everlasting Gomstopper is given back to Wonka just after Wonka says to him, you lose. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. That's a strange kids movie, if you really think about it. Very weird. Very weird. I don't know, man. The 70s were a, 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 whim, a whimsical yet sinister time. <laughs> Even some of the older stuff for the kids. When was the Winnie the Pooh one out? With the heffalumps and woozles. That used to scare the shit out of me as a kid. Like, that was <laughs> just a psychedelic nightmare. Yeah, right? it frightened the hell out of me. And there's no reason. You know, I mean, <laughs> you know, through the eyes of an adult, <laughs> there's, you know, it's it's a different thing. It's like, not so bad. <laughs> it it, it kind of goes back to that uh, NSP song that we reacted to, or that I had you react to. It's bedtime. Yes. <laughs> there, you, there you go. Exactly. Yes. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting. It's uh, you, you you see a piece of um, of art of, of of maybe a film or maybe you read a book at a certain age or a certain time in your life. And then you go back and you read it again. And it's, you can't set foot into the same river twice. The piece and the art has something else to show you um, at a different time through the eyes of maturity. Um, it's fascinating. That's why I know the heffalump of woozles aren't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> They're evil. <laughs> <laughs> Here, little child, watch this. It'll help you sleep. <laughs> yeah, right? Good Lord. Yeah, remember the flying monkeys in uh, oh, Wizard of Oz? Yeah. The, oh, please. Oh, Mom, I'm sorry. I have to go. I just put a load in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> you really that like was, that scene. That was some scary oh. stuff. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> wait wait what <laughs> Nothing. and as we say at the beginning of our uh videos we're sorry <laughs> yes yes i can't believe he made me say that <laughs> well thank you guys for joining us and making it yeah. this far we appreciate it Indeed. a like Definitely comment everything. and subscribe is always appreciated and if you get a chance ring that little bell down there That'll let you know when we have a new video out. Always appreciated. Never pressured.
true. We don't, we're no pressure people. We're having fun. You should too. Exactly. <sighs> Always be good to each other out there. There's Please. too much negativity. We also stay healthy. That too. Yes. And as always, keep your eyes to the sky because the truth is out there. Well, keep your ears to the ground because those damn heifer lump of woozles are out there somewhere. <laughs> that would be the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, everybody. Thank you so much. Peace. Mm -hmm.